we are going to scan a patient age 35 years. She had the DNC of a five months pregnancy. Yesterday, she had DNC performed, and now she's complaining of severe uh, generalized abdominal pain with passage of crops. This is the urinary bladder in transfer section. And this is the urinary bladder in longitudinal section. This is the uterus. And if we measure the uterus, it measures 12.6 centimeters in length. This is the length, 12.6. And normal uterus uh, should not exceed more than 11 centimeters. In anterior posterior diameter, the uterus measures 6.7. It should not measure more than five in normal cases. This D, you can see that this is the anterior myometrium. This is the fundus of the uterus. This is the posterior myometrium. This is the posterior lip of the cervix. This is the anterior lip of the cervix. This is the vagina. And the cervical canal is doing fine. There is nothing in it. This cervix is normal. However, we see this dense coecogenic area giving sharp posterior shadow. Here you see the sharp posterior shadow. Again you see this ecogenicity and there are multiple ecogenicities in within the endometrial canal as this region is that of the endometrial canal. This is the endometrial canal. So now these are our POCs retain products of conception. This, this is the uh, endometrial canal, this area, and this is, these are the RPOCs, retain products of conception, giving posterior, sharp posterior shadow in the uterus. Now this is the uterus in terms of the section. There is some fluid also, if we see this section, and this is a bit capellic section. Well, in this case, this is the uterus in transfer section. No breach is in, in the myometrium. And uh, in this image, this is the endometrial canal. And there are ecogenic areas without any shadowing. These, these are the clots, ecogenic areas, even the ecogenic areas within this dilated endometrial canal. Endometrial canal measures 28.6 millimeters. Normal should not exceed more than 14. So in a 20, sorry, 26, 68. 28. This is a 28. Uh, 0.6 or 29 millimeter <coughs> dilated endometrial canal with internal ecogenic areas which are consistent with clot formation, no posterior care. Now, on, in this, on the other side, if we see this is the uterus in transfer section, this is the endometrial canal. And see that in in this area, uh, view, you can see that there are dense coarse ecogenic areas. One, two, three, four, and this is the largest one, giving posterior shadowing. Now see the difference between these ecogenic areas and this ecogenic uh, ecogenicities. This these ecogenic cities are low level. Uh, and with, with no posterior shadowing. These are dense coarsely ecogenic uh, areas with posterior shadowing. Now these are consistent with the uh, retained products of conception, whereas this, these are consistent with bleed, keeping in view the history of the patient. Now this black area within the endometrial canal is the bleed, keeping in view the history of uh, uh, few hours or one day 
B and C. So, you know, now this is if I, let's see if a magnified view, even in transfer session, we see that uh, there is, uh, and these the, uh, the areas are in the lower mid region of the endometrial canal. Thunder region is almost clear. This is the thunder region. See there is uh, an uh, or focal area, cystic focal area. In the myometrium, this area, this area, this is in the lower segment of the myometrium, whereas this is the endometrial canal. Uh, RCOCs, this is the anterior wall of the uterus, this is the fundus of the uterus, this is the posterior wall of the uterus, and see the cystic area that may as make the twenty three uh, twenty three mm and it is uh, ending very close to the uh, to the outer surface of the lowermost segment of the anterior wall of the uterus, and most probably this is the breach where uh, the, 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 this is the breach within the within the myometry. It's not in the endometrial canal. Just keep this thing in your mind. Let's see the position of the location of this uh, this layer. And it is because of this lien that uh, you see this fungal region and the metric canal is doing this is nothing in it. This is the lower region. And uh, uh, the area of uh, breach within the anterior wall is the cause of uh, the, uh, you see now, make a difference between the endometrial canal and the lien. Now this is the lien in the, uh, this is the lien in the anterior myometrium. This is the endometrial canal. These are the RPC, RPOCs within the endometrial canal. And here you see, you will see fluid in the peritoneal cavity. Free fluid is seen. This is pure. This is all pure with fine low level and close, and these are the bubbles floating in this uh, fluid. This is a bubble. This is fluid. So there is fluid in the. No fluid is seen though in the pelvic cavity. Cervix is seen fine. Seen. So there has been penetration of the uterus by the of the doctor performing the DNC. This is fluid. This is fluid. These are bubbles. This is bubble. This is fluid. And uh, let's see if there is any extension of the fluid which will be a bleed. In fact, again keeping in view the history of the patients and it being manipulated for five, three, five months uh, pregnancy and you can see that there is fluid in the Morrison's pouch as well between the kidney and the liver. See, this is the fluid, this is the river. This area is that of the river. 
and this is the fluid, this is the fluid between the hepatorina angle and uh, this is a vague distorted shadow of the right kidney. This is the gallbladder. This is the gallbladder and you will see fluid when I move transversely, move the probe transversely. See a thin line of fluid. This is the kidney, transfer section. This is the, uh, <coughs> so this is the gallbladder and this is all fluid. Mm. So fluid is seen in the uh, hepatorenal angle as well as in the Morrison's spout. Thank you. 